best FIFA 18 tips, check out FIFASalt.com. Hi guys and welcome to another FIFA 18 skills tutorial. This is a real quick one today because I've done this quite a lot of times over the years. It's the Berber Spin tutorial. Um, I do this every year just to refresh the memories of some of my subscribers and also for newbies that do not know how to do it. But um, yeah, it's going to be a real quick one because as I said, I've done this a lot over the years. I just want to say some of these clips, it's a four star skill move by the way, but you can do it with five star skillers if you're running. Because if you're not running, it'll just do the Magidi Spin instead as a substitute for it. Um, I just want to say that some of these clips are a couple of weeks old. I don't mind this with a skill moves tutorial because it's just the basic fundamentals I'm teaching you. Um, and when I say a little bit old, just two weeks, three weeks, because there's always a patch being released. And this is a problem with the Tick Attacker um, tutorial that loads of you are asking for. And I've seen your comments and I'm, I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. But the thing is with that, why that's getting delayed and delayed is because I get all the clips, I'm ready to do it, I'm about to do a Tick Attacker tutorial and then a new patch comes out and I've got to delete all the older clips. Do you see my problem? So, like I say, with this, with a skill moves tutorial, I don't need to delete the clips because, you know, they're only a couple of weeks old and the same fundamentals, all this would still work in the latest patch, in any patch, pretty much. It's, I'm only teaching you the controls of how to do the skill move and uh, the areas of pitch in, in which to, to use it where it's most effective. So, um, yeah, if you could smash a like on this video, guys, because I do still need the support, even for these videos that you probably, I would say a lot of my subscribers have probably seen this over the years, but um, let me know in the comments box below which one you want me to do that I haven't ever done, like a Blasty Flick I've never, unbelievably, I've never done before, as we get into the controls in just a second with a, a Dries Mertens um, example. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments box below which one you want me to do, because um, there's loads I've got ready. I've got like an Elastico clip ready, uh, loads of clips for a tutorial ready, um, Balassi Flick. There's loads that I haven't done skill moves. Let me know the skill moves that you want me to do. So here we go. Typical example, this guy's going to come up and he's going to try and cut me off and tackle me. This is when to activate the Burba bur Spin and do it and perform it because it's so effective. So at this point, he's just about to tackle you. You want to flick the right stick, this is the right analog stick, the skill stick, right then down. Why? Because you always want to flick the right stick first in front of you, the direction you're going in, and then to the side of the player. Either way, up or down, it really doesn't matter. Um, we obviously go down in this example because I want to cut inside, you know, cut the angle and then put a, a shot in, a goal, and then try and score. So flick the right stick right, then down. It's as simple as that. Um, in front of you, the way direction you are going in, and into the side of the player. Easy way to remember it, and um, anyone can do this. Um, it really is that easy of a skill move. I, I truly believe anyone can do this. Um, just make sure you've got a four-star skiller on the ball, or a five-star skiller, and then make sure you're running. Otherwise, you'll do the McGee spin, which is very much the same, really. I'll do a, I might do a tutorial on that. I have done them in the past, but I haven't done a McGee spin in quite a few years, actually, since about FIFA 15. You see here with Roy's just cutting inside, Berber spin, bang. What I will say, you do not want to overuse this. You only, only want to use it like three to four times max, four times max in a game. Otherwise, they'll work you out eventually. Don't want to overuse it. As for the areas of the pitch where to use it, you'll see 90 to 95 percent of the clips are in the final third of the pitch. I mean, on the wings is great. I would use it on the wings to cut inside. Um, but in the final third, in the penalty area, you, you've seen clips of me winning penalties, winning the, a, a couple of free kicks. But the rest of the, the clips are, are doing the player and um, actually cutting inside and getting a shot off, as you see with Royce there. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, really, guys. Um, just keep doubling up at the end there. That's why I chuck that in. Doubling up is all, all, also a good way to, to do them because they're not expecting you to do it again. It does players, even the best of players, worldies so so often. But yeah, just make sure to not overuse it. Use it three to four times max in the game and then do not use it again. Use another skill move or something or, or start passing. Because you don't want to overuse it because they will work out that you're going to do it eventually. What I would tend to do is slow down and I think you'll do it for a fifth time maybe, right? And then do a, a fake body feint or, 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 or no touch dribbling to make them think that you're cutting inside and just carry on going in the, in the same direction. That's a good little trick. So there you go guys, that is the Burba Spin tutorial, I'll have more up for you soon, let me know which tutorial you want to see next, I think the, the crossing clip's ready, I'm probably going to release that next. Um, so yeah guys, also let me know the, um, the the skill move tutorial you want me to do, which skill moves do you want me to release, because I, I, can, I can do any and I'll, I'll show how to do all of them. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you for the next one.